Hello everyone, my name is Eline van Dissoek and I'm the president of the International Astronomical Union, the IAU. This is the organization of all the professional astronomers worldwide, some 13,500 in total. This year we are celebrating that our union was founded 100 years ago in Brussels. And we do this with a lot of activities worldwide under the motto, under one sky or in your case, that would be on the same air. So thanks to everybody for participating in our activities. Uh, and I really appreciate the fact that you reach out to many other uh, communities and get people involved in your activities. Now, radio and astronomy have gone together for decades. Radio waves were detected from the universe already in the 1930s um, and since that time many of the big discoveries that have been made in astronomy actually involve radio waves. I'm thinking in particular of the 21 centimeter radiation predicted by Hank van der Hulst here in Leiden um, and then uh, the first map of the Milky Way actually made by Jan Oort in the late 1950s in the 21 centimeter radiation. Since that time, there have been other very important discoveries, for example, the discovery of the pulsars um, that has led actually to Nobel Prizes. Um, but also just last month, uh, we had the first image of a black hole and that was made with radio waves. Well, actually with very short wave radio waves at millimeter wavelengths um, with the event horizon telescopes. Um, but big new telescopes, such as the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, actually played an important role in that. And that also shows the importance of technology development. I mean, throughout the history of radio, uh, development of the techniques has been a key to make advances, both in terms of communication, but also in terms of astronomy. Um, the quest of astronomers to have the most sensitive detectors uh, and to protect them as much as possible from the noise um, led to the development of very new devices, many new devices, but also, for example, to devices that uh, eventually led to the development of the Wi-Fi technology. Um, and now we are going to shorter and shorter wavelengths, um, such as at millimeter wavelengths where actually uh, we are making now the most sensitive uh, detectors very close to the quantum limit. So I actually expect that radio and astronomy will continue to go together in the coming decades and that we can look forward to many more discoveries um, and also to communication. And these days astronomers all around the world are communicating with each other and again radio plays a very important role in that. So, thanks again for contributing uh, to these worldwide activities and I wish you all the best and also in finding new friends across the world.